engagement should be part of our daily income producing activities. This is how we are manually going to move the needle forward in our businesses. Especially at the beginning stages of our businesses, we cannot expect that leads are just going to turn up and land in our DMs. We have to actively be and engage with our audience and convert those leads if we want to grow our businesses. And this is all achieved through your engagement strategy. So in today's video, I'm going to share my exact engagement strategy with you and break it down into three components, connection, nurturing, and lead generation. Hey there guys, if you are new to this channel, my name is Caitlin Redding and I'm a sales and funnel coach where I really teach you here how to generate more leads and therefore more income and ultimately grow your businesses. So if you are new here, I suggest you hit that subscribe button and that tap that notification bell so you are notified every week when I post a new video. Now, what I want to know, and you can just let me know in the comments below, is if you are spending the time daily engaging with your audience and connecting connecting and finding new people to connect with. If you aren't and you have no idea how, well then make sure to watch this video because that's exactly what I'm going to show you. But at the end of this video, I am also going to give you my 35 minute engagement workflow. So make sure you stay until the end. Now, just a heads up, I do have a free flow chart that is going to also teach you after learning how to engage with your audience, you can implement this flow chart to know exactly how you're going to move leads around inside of your business so that you're not leaving anybody behind and ultimately are capitalizing on all of these new connections you're making. So if you want access to that, you can download it. The description part of this video, I have two different flow charts. One, if you are a coach or course creator, and another one if you are in network marketing. So make sure you find which flowchart suits you. The first category is connection. And this is where you are going out and connecting and meeting new people. And this can be done in two ways. One way is by going out and finding your ideal clients and engaging with them. And the other way is going through your existing followers and finding your ideal clients in there and starting up a relationship with them. Both in the connection piece, the thing that matters the most is that they're people who you do not have a previous relationship. You are doing the work to build that relationship and connect with them. The next category that follows connection is the nurturing. And this really goes in line with connection because it just is your natural next step with your new connections where you really are just maintaining and building that relationship. You're not showing up at this part to sell or pitch anything. You're just really are there to get to know each other a little bit more and build that relationship. The last component is lead generation. And if you have followed the previous steps and have done the job of connecting and nurturing those leads, and if you have an engagement strategy, which I will teach you here in a little bit, then you will naturally come to a lead generation part where you are naturally and organically having leads come to you where they are ready for the next step with you, whether that is to watch a free training, to download a free offer, or even just to jump on a call with you. Now, before I jump into my exact 35 minute workflow, I want to remind you that engagement simply is about meeting and connecting with new people. You don't want to attach an outcome with the people that you're meeting because not everybody will be your ideal clients and not everybody will be ready or want to take that next step with you. Engagement is really about finding out about them and finding if they are going to be ready or even fit into your business. So here is my engagement in only 35 minutes. The first 20 minutes, I spend it in the connection part of this, where I am spending 10 minutes in outreach where I am going out actively finding people to connect with. And the last 10 minutes is spent where I'm going through my existing followers and finding people who I have no previous relationship with and starting to build that relationship. Now, the next 10 minutes, so, so far we're at a total of 30 minutes, I spend it in following up with the previous day's work. So 
If you're doing this consecutively each day, you will have where you need to go back to previous conversations and continue the conversation or work some more to build up and warm up into a conversation. So I spend 10 minutes doing that and then the very last little bit where I spend maybe five minutes and usually I'm doing this throughout the day and not necessarily at one specific time is I'm just welcoming any new followers to my account where I send them a video message or a voice note. I really try to make sure I send one of those two versus just text but if all else fails I can at least send a text where I'm just welcoming them to my Instagram community and thanking them for being a part of it. Now, so that is 35 minutes where I spend every single day, usually five days a week, doing the income producing activities of engagement. I set a timer and no matter what I get done in that time is what I get done. I don't set myself limits as far as how many people I need to meet or connect with. I just set a timer and work on it and then move on. Now, the other piece of my strategy is making sure that I have a system that I can track all of my leads. What we talked about, who they are, are and any other details I might need to know for future reference. I also use a color coding system so I can visually see where my leads are in the pipeline as far as if they're going to be ready or when they're going to be ready for lead generation or for to take that next step with them. This is really a key piece to this if you want your engagement to actually move the needle forward in your business is not only making sure you have this strategy but making sure that you have the system so that you are always set up to go dive in and continuing the conversation, connecting, nurturing, and then of course, ending in some lead generation for you. This is how you are manually going to turn your followers into clients. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we cannot just expect that we post this amazing content, have high engagement rates, all the things that I do teach you in order for it for your followers to turn over into some paid clients. You do need to actively be moving the bus forward you actively need to be in there engaging with your audience. So with that, I want to again remind you to go download the flow chart for your business where you can, after you've followed your engagement strategy, you know exactly where to place them, what is their next step. You can download that flow chart in the description part of this video. Remember, I have two different ones. One, if you're in direct sales or network marketing and another one, if you have a coaching business or created a course, make sure you go download the right one for your your business. Also, just want to give you a heads up that you can also download my email marketing funnel guide, which teaches you how to actually set up a funnel in your email marketing software so that it's working and doing the job to convert your leads. So once you have, you know, engaged with them online, you have offered your free download or the next step, you have now a funnel that's going to also take care of each step down the line so that they can passively convert into a paid client or course member. Now with that said guys that's all that I have for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment below if you are engaging daily with your followers and we'll see you guys here next week where I post a new video teaching you how to generate more leads and more income in your businesses. Bye for now.